everybody and welcome to another kit lineup. I don't know what this is. Like it doesn't look like anything in person. Weird. So we are here with my November kit lineup. Which can't promise it's gonna stay like this because if too much more Christmas art comes up, I may have to like bump some stuff to move Christmas around. But at this moment in time, on approximately October 10th. This is my kit lineup. So as I've explained every time, continue, we'll continue to explain every time, I do have two planners. I have my everyday planner, which I do off camera for fun, for me, just to do. And then I have my filming planner, which I do on here for you guys. So we're gonna start with the kits I'm using in my everyday planner. So this is the first week, which is November 7th through the 13th, and I am gonna be using the September 2021 Scribble Prints Call Mystery, which is this like movie night at home kit. I think it's really cute. I love that this girl has tattoos and like a little piercing, so cute. We have the scene right there, the deco. So flip on through. Older format, obviously. You have the little blondie girl here, which I will probably use. And I'll probably use her because you can see the tattoos better. And I love the tattoo moment. We got a lace flat lay there. We got the Coke and the popcorn. So good. So I'm going to be using olive foil with this kit. And I'm using the Curon underlays. This is from my shop in olive. I just feel like that'll look so nice with like this green color. So we have those, and I'm gonna be using Beaufort Washi, which is my favorite of all the bows in my shop, in olive, as well as the Star 2 headers in olive. So that's this kit's situation. I always do it like this in case you guys want to like screenshot it if you need some inspo for a kit. So cute. Then the next, this one I'm so excited for. So this I was originally going to do in my filming planner. And then I came up with like what I wanted to use with it. And it instantly got bumped. This is November 14th through the 20th. Which is like honestly a really shitty week for me. It is on November 14th. This is the week of the anniversary of when my mom passed away. So I like to do a kit that gives me like her energy. And she was like just a classy lady. And so this house to home kit like really gives me like her vibes so I'm gonna go with this kit I hate the cat but hopefully I don't have to use it hopefully there's enough boxes that the cat can just not live in my planner I like this like super pale pink I'm so excited for the combo I came up with for this kit it's gonna be so good hopefully maybe it'll suck who knows probably use this girl because she looks kind of like my mom. My mom had blonde hair. She had bangs. She had green eyes. So it's like really my mom energy. And then this came with a matte bronze foil bundle, which we will be using. Got the two bougie. And wait till you see what I plan on doing. And the washi. I'm going to use the bows, but then I'm going to bring in a different washi as well. I'm just leaving the bougie out so I can like show you my plans so i'm going to be using the half circle underlays in my shop in black so it's these I'll get it closer you can see the pattern and i'm gonna layer the matte bronze on top of it and i think it's gonna be absolutely stunning and the black makes it more my mom because like black is her thing like we had a literal black toilet in the bathroom because that was just she loved everything black so we're gonna use that and then i did am bringing in fine confetti in black and confetti headers in black so that is gonna be this kit and i think it's gonna come out so good like i said i wasn't even planning on i was planning on this being the one in my filming planner and then i was like ah! no it has to be my everyday planner because i look at my everyday planner every day so i tend to do things that i'm more excited about in there sorry about it this next week is i believe the week of thanksgiving I hate Thanksgiving, so I don't ever do Thanksgiving kits. This is when I start. I'm starting Christmas. And this week we are using the holiday prep kit, which is like the Christmas version of the Hanukkah art, I believe. Honestly, I like the Hanukkah art better, but 
or the colors of the Hanukkah one better, but we're going with this one. Super cute. I am obsessed with her. I love that. Love her. Love the food. We just love it all. We do have the extra hands for the food here as well. This is this will be the box I use on probably Thanksgiving. It's kind of why I picked it for this week. I love the extra boxes there, the colors. Oops, I did add on the blondies so I could use the tall girl that looks mostly like me. Except for the blonde fashion girls always be having blue eyes and mine are poop shit ass brown. Ugh, tragic. Coming in cozy up, so cute. I'm gonna be doing a combo of string lights in matte bronze, which I think is like a given with this kit and buddy which is like these two little trees in olive i just think that is such a vibe with this kit i have this, the lights headers in olive then the lights washi in matte bronze and then for everything christmas related this was the exclusive font of october so by the time you're seeing this it's still available what i did is i went through my planners and found everything that i use like once a couple times a week and i did the custom multi in that font and then i got it into the corresponding foil so i did it in the olive and i have um seven works film youtube binge got three of those mcdonald's post office drop with dad with andrea with chris facetime sissy four reads groceries sad bitch laundry plan bill do and payday those are all things that i will probably use in a single spread and then this is the font it's so cute like the a's look like christmas trees there's bows and string lights and there's it's so cute so that's the vibe for this kit do you guys like thanksgiving i am a picky eater which i think is a big part of why i don't like thanksgiving because i really don't like any of the food i'll eat stovetop bread stuffing and mashed potatoes but like i don't really love mashed potatoes and i'll eat rolls but like i don't eat ham or turkey or green bean casserole or any of that nonsense so we have the 11th of november through december 4th and i'm going to be using this tis the season kit which looks like this hate the cat the cat will not be used absolutely not no and yeah we've got this is why the cat won't be used we have all this extra shit okay i love that box so cute just so cute i just love christmas everything christmassy brings me so much joy makes my heart so happy so we have this hand then we have the like pale and the darker skin tone I did add on the blondie girl, which gives me enough boxes to not have to use the stupid cat. And then for the underlays, I'm doing a combo of plaid too. I feel like you had to use plaid with this kit in red. And ornaments in matte silver. It's so like a cute little ornament pattern. We have the headers here in plaid and matte silver. And then the washi I did Santa in red. So we have the pattern with like the Santas and then the, he's making a list and checking it twice. And then again, I did that same multi-sampler. You can probably see the font better in this color. Yeah, it's just so cute in matte silver. So that's what I'm using with this kit. I'm really excited for how this is going to come out. I like the red and the matte silver. I think it's very cute together. And then we'll get into the... So if you guys want to see those finished spreads, you'll see it in my planner graveyard, but not till next year. Otherwise, make sure you follow me on Instagram. And these are the spreads you guys are going to see. So for that first week, we're going to be using this really old kit from Scribble Prince Co. called Relax. I thought these were kind of fall colors, and so it would, like, work. Again, I hate the cat, but this is a really old format, so there might not even be enough boxes for me to not use the cat. But I thought this would be fun to finally get this out of my collection. Like, this is how old it is. There's icons on the little things. It's tragic. It's a tragedy. There is no 15 millimeter washi, so I'm just going to leave it whole. Then I'm going to be using the scratch underlays in autumn tie-dye from my shop. I feel like that worked perfectly with this kit. And then I have confetti headers in autumn tie-dye. This is old paper. I had those made and done for the new release video for my anniversary sale and then this is the new paper you can see the white background it looks so much nicer and we have the autumn tie-dye headers
Not gonna really leave that on there for very long because I'm sure nobody still has this kit in their collection because it's from 1802. Next up, we are going to be using the December 2021 Mystery from the good old Scribble Prince Co. This is again the week of like my mom's passing and she was very like girly, spa, like that was very her, like this, her, right there, that's her. So we're gonna be using this colors are really pretty there's the bottom washi this also reminds me of my mom it's so cute mom did nails for a living so that's very perfect so then I have the sparkle underlays from my shop again these are like on the old paper and this is in the navy foil and then I'm bringing in twinkle three headers and washi in light purple. I think that'll be a really cute vibe. I love the colors of this kit. Oh, so excited to use that. For the next week, which is the first Christmassy one in this planner, I'm going to be using the tree decorating kit. We'll cheer the boxes. This is cute, but also it's a kind of brown for my liking. I'm glad that none of the colors of the actual kit are brown, so it's just in the full boxes. I love the like little Merry Christmas, you filthy animal sweater. So cute. Oh, here are the extra boxes. And the washi. And then the underlays, I'm doing ornaments in light pink and holiday leaves in light green those two are like the perfect options for this kit for the washi i'm using fir tree in light pink and the headers i'm using holiday leaves in light green and then i made the same sampler in light green so that'll be that kit i think that'll be really cute just wasn't cute enough for my main planner and also I usually do like kits that are reformats in this planner as well if I've already done them in my main planner which is the next kit is joy which was a reformat and I've done it in my regular planner before so we're giving it time to shine here first off the Bernie's Mountain Dog don't even care there's a cat there because there's a Bernie's Mountain Dog and I freaking love them I love how like dark the colors are in this kit i think it's really nice we've got the other hands there i did get the blondie add-ons there is gold throughout the kit which is why i'm using some gold i probably won't use the baby because I don't have one of those and don't want one of those so for the underlays we're using saint nick which is like this santa pattern in burgundy and then i'm gonna mix that with festive in matte gold so cute and then for the washi i'm using santa again because i had to in burgundy for the headers i'm using ho 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 in matte gold and then i made my little sampler here in burgundy so cutie so that'll be this spread but that is it guys that's everything for my november kit lineup i hope that gave you guys some inspiration gave you guys some ideas what combo is your favorite what are you doing what are you thinking when do you guys start using christmas kits let me know but if you liked this video give it a thumbs up if you did not then well give it a thumbs down because either way you're helping out my channel comment down below subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next one bye guys